welcome to Heads Up. Over the past few weeks, we've been trying to decode a variety of learning differences in children. From something as mild as dyslexia to something as severe as ADHD. Now, according to a report, out of the 3 million children with learning disabilities in India, almost 35% of them have access to no schools. Today on the show, we're trying to decode the different kinds of physical differences in children. We're looking at the causes behind those and how our teachers, parents and schools coming together to do their bit for them. This could be the lunch breaker at any school. But guess what? This isn't. Physical disabilities come in a range of forms and can stem from a variety of causes. Most of the children with physical dysfunctions are either born with it or develop them soon after their birth. Brain or spinal cord injury, cerebral palsy or muscular dystrophy are some of these. In some cases, impairments occur later in their childhood, be it through a disease or an accident. Shubham's is one such story. Born a healthy child, Shubham has an immense passion for computers and sports. Soon after he turned six, young Shubham lost two arms and a leg because of electrocution. For an exceptionally active child, life had changed. Convincing the parents was a tough task. Shubham was not born with a physical disability. It came later. After the initial denial and a lot of counselling, the parents say that their son has come a long way. Parents saw the progress because of inclusion. Because when a child with disability is getting equal opportunities, is getting full participation, who will tell that my child is not getting the best? Now in sixth grade, he not only writes, but uses computers too. Says he loves computers and wants to become an IT engineer. Support has come in all forms, friends, teachers and school. I like to play the computer and I want to go to the computer and I want to be an IT manager. Mm -hmm. IT manager. <laughs> Children with physical disabilities are often marginalized and this discrimination is largely due to empathy and a lack of understanding. Poverty, lack of support, social isolation are some of the big challenges staring at many. Seven-year-old Jyoti's father is a local bus driver. Born with muscular developmental disorder, for the father, Jyoti being in an inclusive setup was something beyond his imagination. When I was three days, I was taking him to the hospital. After that, I was taking him to the hospital. After that, I was taking him to the hospital. And after that, when I knew that I was in the public school, I was taking him to the hospital. And now, I'm studying the school. And when I came to the school, how did Jyoti do it? It's a lot of difference. स्कूल में ये बोलती है कि बहुत यहाँ मैम बहुत अच्छे हैं, हमारे दोस्त बहुत अच्छे हैं। The school pays for her aids, a scribe is given to her, and love comes in abundance. आपका नाम क्या है? ज्योति। और आप कौन सी क्लास में हो? नर्सरी। कितने इयर्स के हो आप? सात। सेवेन इयर्स के। और स्कूल में कितने सारे दोस्त हैं आपके? बहुत सारे। बहुत सारे हैं। हाँ। और आप को क्या करना अच्छा लगता है? ड्राइंग। ड्राइंग अच्छी लगती है। There is no arguing the fact that children like Shubham and Jyoti have all the right to education, but according to a United Nations report, the figures show staggering results. Only 10% of all children with disabilities worldwide are in schools, 
and of these only half actually complete their primary education. This would mean that only 5% of all children with disabilities all over the world have completed primary school. Out of 29 lakh children with disabilities in India, between the ages of 6 to 14, around 34% of them have no access to schools. The percentages are even higher among children with intellectual disabilities, speech impairments and multiple disabilities. No, basically, uh, it has been uh, not clearly understanding disability, not accepting disability and then becoming a hurdle for everything. If a child wants to study, they would say, oh, school is not going to admit, so how are we going to take care of? And they would scold children and really uh, put this in their mind, you are a liability to us. So self-esteem also goes away. So when we heard these things, uh, we thought, you know, it's important to counsel the parents. <coughs> and counselling helps when they see things happening. So most of the children with disability were doing very well, but the acceptance of the non-disabled is what made them do well. While the need for inclusion cannot be stressed enough, accommodating a student with a physical disability in a school requires a lot of care. Ramps, tactile paving, special equipment, physiotherapists and a barrier-free environment is mandatory. Inclusion for those with all sorts of learning challenges is a big step. Many children with physical differences are also attending mainstream schools like this one. Schools today are not only focusing on academics, but sports and other activities too. Take a look. Most children with physical challenges are often thought to be struggling all their lives, especially in a country like India. Young children with physical differences are often denied equal opportunities. But to use a cliche, where there is a will, there is a way. The wheelchair used in the game is a different kind. Its base widens for better mobility, has no brakes and moves with players' body movement. It is stories like these that give way to hope that almost nothing is impossible for children with disabilities. While wheelchair basketball has become a major sport for the disabled in the world, it is yet to find its roots in India. But times are changing and institutions like Amar Jyoti are now leading the change. Well, uh, the conception was in the year 1965 when my brother met with an accident. He lost a leg and uh, prosthesis was not available because it was from the hip. Amputation was done from the hip and we went all over the places where there were possibilities like Pune, Mumbai, Delhi, it was in Gwalior. So going all over the places and it happened to be a year of Indo-Pakistan war time. You know. So I saw thousands of amputees going through the same dilemma. You know. If you can't get your assistive device, how do you remain mobile? So that time I was a lecturer and my brother was an engineer. So I decided to put my salary aside in a post office account so that one day I would be able to start an institution where people will not hear what my brother heard or many other people heard in different places. A nation which places its persons with disability on the same platform as the rest is what they say their aim is. Founded in 1981, this voluntary organization caters to almost all the needs of a child with physical differences. Long before integrated education became a buzzword, the school was working quietly. Her name? Miss, Miss Jury. Their classrooms have an equal mix of children with disabilities and able-bodied students. Here, a speech therapist is working on the communication skills of some students teaching them the use of sign language and using hearing aids. These children, they are mainly the first generation learners and they are coming from such background, most of them, that uh, they are not getting any help at home since their parents are not uh, uh, literate or educated. But these children, they are getting good opportunity over here. 
Students with special abilities are initially put in classes where teachers prepare them for a regular classroom. Teachers are trained as special educators who can cater to the needs of children with disabilities. This in a country often accused of being insensitive to the disabled. A report by Fiki suggests that most of the hospitals, ATMs and colleges are not disabled friendly. All our teachers are special educators and I insist that all private schools, public schools should have their in-service teachers also oriented in special education. It's one thing to have one special educator over 2,000 students. You know, if and when children with disability come, we will have this special education. That is not the way. Each and every teacher should learn specific needs of children with disability. According to a UN survey, 15% of the world's population lives with some form of disability. Of these, 11 to 19 crores have difficulty in functioning. The estimated number of children with disabilities between 0 to 18 ranges from 10 to 15 crores. Given these numbers, an urgent understanding of disabilities is key. Experts say parenting a child with differences is not the real battle. The battle is to work with it and demand inclusion. Often easier said than done. Mentally, it's an emotional trauma on the parent, you know, so it could be a social, then it comes into being a social trauma um, also, you know, where sometimes a parent is embarrassed to take the child. We've seen situations where parent is embarrassed to take the child out to a marriage or a birthday party because they don't know how to deal with their own emotions and they don't know how to deal with the child's emotions. As the ch little child is growing up, they don't know how to make the child experience a normalcy. As is the case with all other learning differences, stigma and stereotype associated with physical disabilities is indeed very strong. Parents often worry about how society will see their child. Here the parent may be in a denial stage, thinking that, you know, kisi tarike se to bacha theek ho jayega. But sometimes, you know, when a limb is missing or something uh, else is uh, very difficultly wrong, can be a difficult uh, situation. Though I may say on the positive note now that you know how things were 10 years ago, even five years ago, things, medical science has improved so rapidly that now even with a missing limb, you know, you could actually have prosthesis and there's so much available that you can be almost close to normal. Educating children with all sorts of learning differences can be challenging, even in the best of circumstances. But trained experts, professional help, and some patients can go a long way. It's time to slip into a short break. Don't go away. We've got lots more on the other side.